morning, my friends. I'm Brett Larkin, and I'm super excited to have teamed up with Bella Beat Leaf to bring you this special morning routine. You don't need any prior yoga experience to do this one with me, guys. It is fun and feel good. Let's get started. To begin, we're gonna come into child's pose. How that works is that you can have your knees together or as wide as the mat, and if it's not comfortable, you can sit up on a block, and then you just fold forward. It's always easier to get out of bed in the morning when you know the child's pose is the first place you're gonna hit. Just begin to close your eyes and let your body get heavy. Inhale into your low back, get wide, breathe in for a count of three. And exhaling, nose or mouth for three, let it go. One more time like that, inhaling and feel the back broaden. Exhale, nose or mouth, think H-A, ha, as you breathe out. Last one, really big inhale, fill up all the way. And exhaling completely. And from here, just walk your hands over to the right. So you're just gonna walk your hands to the right and you can stack your left hand on top of your right for a simple side body stretch on the left side. Think of anchoring your left sitting bone down. Breathe the left rib cage wider and fill up with air from the inside out. Good, and then just walk the hands over to the right, this time stacking right on left. And palm. Send the breath into the right side ribs now. Just get wide. I like to imagine my ribs are like an accordion and I'm just filling them up with breath. And one more huge in breath. Good, come back. Bring the hands to center. You're gonna come up to an all fours position. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale and just come into what's called an up cat. So curling your toes under, taking the shoulder heads back, opening across the chest. And then as you breathe out, ripple through the spine, tailbone lengthens to the space between your knees, drop the head. Two more like that. And you're in breath. And create space in the shoulders and the upper back. As you breathe out, draw your navel towards the ceiling, making that Halloween cat shape. And allow the head and neck to relax. Last one, flow on your own breath. Breathe in, come into your up cat. And now curl your toes under and you're gonna keep the knees bent as you take your seat high to the ceiling for a modified downward facing dog. If you've been doing yoga a long time, you can play with straightening the legs. Begin yearning one heel to the floor and then the other. Otherwise, it's always fine to keep the knees really deeply bent and prioritize length in your spine, sending the sitting bones high to the sky. Press down through all your knuckles and spread the fingers far apart. Good, last breath. Nice, and then gently just drop down to your knees. We're gonna take the right foot between the hands and it's okay if you need to carry it up. We'll inhale, just coming into a lunge. Breathe in. 
And as you breathe out, take the elbows wide, cactus the arms back in a goal pose shape and just show your heart to the ceiling. Good, breathe in, I want you to swoop forward. And this time, exhale as you bend the elbows, take them back, just greet the day. Two more like that on your own. Inhaling to swoop forward. Exhale to peel the elbows back, broaden across the chest. Last one, breathing in, reach, breathing out, open, good, exhale, hands frame the foot, curl the back toes under, step to the top of the mat, the feet can stay hip width apart, the knees can stay deeply bent, hold opposite elbows and sway, make sure the Crown of the head is really pointing down towards the floor. Let gravity be your friend here. Just sway side to side. Good, and then drop the palms. Inhale, we're gonna sweep the arms down, around and up so they reach into a prayer above our head. And then same thing, exhale, cactus the arms back. Show your heart towards the ceiling. Good, inhale, reach up. And this time, exhale. Fold forward. Good. Inhale, half lift. Little flat back, spine lengthens. Exhale, step the left foot back in space, left palm plant, right hand peels up to the sky for an easy twist. You can always be down on your back knee or the back leg can be straight. One more big breath here. Firm your inner thighs towards one another. Rotate chest to ceiling. And then exhale. Hands frame the foot, step back to all fours, rippling through an up cat, and a down cat to round. Good, breathe in. Step the left foot forward this time. Melt into your lunge. It's okay if you wanna kind of press your hands into the knee to get started and situated. And then inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, open the heart to peel the elbows down and back. Good. Create resistance as you move. So you inhale, sweep. Exhale, and I imagine those bodybuilders at the gym who pull those um, weight machines down, really creating strength, awakening all the muscles in the back body. Good. The last one on your own. Nice, and then hands frame the foot. Curl the right toes under this time to step to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart, bend the knees, and this time we'll interlace the fingers, press them at the nape of the neck, right where your hairline meets your neck, and this time just gently traction your head from side to side, lengthening the back of the neck. You can play with straightening or rebending the knees. Last breath. Good. And then let the hands drop to the floor. Your in breath, circle the arms down, around, and up. Reach up. Your out breath, cactus the arms back. Think of the shoulder blades coming together to make a little shelf for your heart. Good. And then inhale, reach up your out breath to fold. Breathe in, little flat back, hands can come to the shins, get long. Exhale, step the right foot back in space for our twist, left hand high to the sky, right hand plants. Always okay to bend the back knee, be wherever you wanna be, glide the shoulders down and back, and just think of length from your tailbone to your crown of head. Every in-breath you get longer. Every out-breath you pull your navel in and back to come deeper into the twist. Exhale, left hand down. We're gonna step back to all fours, inhaling for our up cat, and then exhaling back into that downward facing dog. Rooting the knuckles down, extending through the heels, 
or keeping the knees deeply bent. We'll round out our practice with a plank to strengthen and a little back bend to open more. So as you're ready, breathe in, rock forward to a plank pose. So shoulders over wrists, heels press back, and draw your abs up and in. Think of your hip bones levering towards your chin. Turn on your thighs, your abs. Reach the sternum forward and the heels back. And you can always take your knees to the ground if you want to modify. We're here for three and for two. From everything into your midline, last one. Good, and then drop your knees to the floor. Bend your elbows, lower all the way. And from here, a little baby cobra, pressing your hips into the mat first. Lengthen your low back so your tailbone moves towards your heels. And then on a breath in, peel your heart off the floor. Take a huge in-breath here. You can play with lifting the fingers off the mat. And again, if you've been doing yoga for some time, I love to interlace the hands at my low back, press the heels of my hands into one another, press my wrists into one another, and send my knuckles towards my toes for an even bigger opening across the chest. Wherever you are, opening the shoulders and the heart, two more breaths here. On an exhale, take the hands back under the shoulders, wherever you are. And press back into your child's pose right where we began. You can take the elbows as wide as the mat. Hands come into a diamond shape. And breathe in. Open the mouth to breathe out. Once more, huge breath in. And exhale all the way. From here, gently roll up to a seated position. Bring your hands to prayer. Thumbs at heart center. Deep inhale. Exhale all the way. It's always beautiful to follow your morning practice up with a meditation. And there are several that you can download inside the Bella Beat app. Plug in your headphones and relax. From my heart to yours, namaste.